Welcome to this tutorial on how to jailbreak any PS4 that's running 11.00 firmware or lower. The method I'm about to show you is by far the easiest way to install the Gold Hen jailbreak to your device. Guys, let's not waffle anymore. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more PS4 jailbreaking guides and let's get into the video. First things first is you'll need a few things before you can start this jailbreak. First is an old USB stick, cannot be a USB 3.0 as I've heard they run into issues during the process. Process. Also, you'll need an Ethernet or Internet cable that can run from your PS4 to your computer or laptop. If you don't have an Ethernet port, then you'll need this Ethernet to USB adapter. And finally, you'll need a Windows PC or laptop, and of course the PS4 itself on 11.00 firmware or lower. Currently, this won't work on any higher than 11.00, so I wouldn't even bother attempting this method. If you've got all that rounded up, then let's get right into it. First, you'll want to download the files provided in the description. This package will contain all you need to do the jailbreak. You'll also want to download Rufus if you want to reformat the drive to XFAT. This method will only work with an XFAT formatted USB, so make sure to get that done ASAP. Now we'll want to go ahead and plug our Ethernet cable from our PS4 all the way to back of our computer or laptop. You can check if you're connected by typing in network connections in the search bar. Then you should find which Ethernet port the PS4 is on. Mine is on this Ethernet one. Now we can go ahead ahead and unzip those downloaded files to our desktop. From here, we'll need to install this application called NPCAP. This is essential in order for it to work. Once done now, we can plug in our XFAT formatted USB stick and copy over this gold hen file. Be absolutely sure that this USB is clear of any other files. Once that's done, we can now plug the USB stick into our PS4. Now while we're on the PS4, head on over to the internet settings and set up new connection with an ethernet. Click custom and when you get to IP settings, click PPPoE at the bottom. Now type in something easy like 3PS and then continue. When you get to the test internet connection, just leave it on that page for now. Now back on the PC, let's load up the GUI we downloaded in that package. Once it's loaded up, we'll first need to select the bin file. Easily do this by dragging it in. Make sure it's the stage 2.1 that's in that same package folder and make sure it's the 11.00 firmware version. Next select which ethernet port it is. Mine had automatically chose the correct one, but you may need to adjust yours and also tick the try again after fail box. Now we can go ahead and click run exploit, but if you get this error, then do not worry. First try disabling your antivirus software temporarily or alternatively download another version of the GUI. This worked for me. Once you fix that error, you'll be able to run the exploit. As soon as you click run exploit, then click test internet connection over on your console. This will take a few tries guys, so be patient. The exploit is still developing, so it can be a little slow to get it, but stay persistent. If you get the could not load payload message, then keep trying. You will eventually get the message saying gold hen, and you will have full access to a jailbroken PS4 from that moment forward. Be sure to head over to the debug settings and make sure to tick the gold hen safe mode box as this will keep your jailbreak installed even in safe mode. But if you do end up turning your console off, then you'll need to reinstall the jailbreak using the exact same method again. With this jailbreak, you'll have access to any kind of settings and you can even use offline mod menus in games such as GTA 5 or RDR 2. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this quick guide on the easiest way to install a PS4 jailbreak. Please leave a like and subscribe for your boy. More jailbreak guides will be coming in the near future. Peace out, homies.